Over 1,000 African migrants swarm New York City's City Hall over supposedly falsely promised green cards. Apparently, an activist group told all these people, if you come here, you will get work, you will get green cards, just show up. And I have to wonder if these leftists are actually secret Trump supporters. If there's anything that's going to freak out urban liberals, it's videos of a thousand plus illegal immigrants demanding money from the city. Yeah, they're going to say, whoa, 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 hold on. What is going on in our city? Who are these people who are just showing up expecting us to pay for them? But of course, the left will come out and say, you're racist. Don't be racist. I, 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 I got to say, man, you know, if this is true about this activist group organizing this, they are trying to get people to vote for Trump or they're trying to get people to vote for Trump so they can then claim the country is racist or something. But I got to tell you, Democrats are getting fed up with unchecked illegal immigration. We, we'll read the story. I love the New York Post calls them newcomers, new arrivals, they say new arrivals. Let's play some of the videos. We have this from Ashley St. Clair. She says over 1000 African migrants have taken over New York City's City Hall. 95 percent are military aged men and many cross the southern border to get here. And you can see Ashley walking through New York, filming all of this. We have more videos. We have this from Libs of TikTok. Uh, what do they say? What does she says? Hundreds of criminal aliens, criminal illegal aliens swarming City Hall, protesting housing accommodations. Here's another one. Raw's alerts. Uh, currently hundreds, if not thousands of undocumented immigrants. I love the varying language here. We have criminal illegal alien. We have migrants. We have new arrivals and we have undocumented immigrants. And uh, here's more video. I mean, there's there's just uh, tons of video. Here's one from Ashley St. Clair. Migrants are now, fl- are now flooding New York City City Hall to protest being moved to shelters instead of luxury hotels. Well, here's a story from the New York Post. About 1,300 African migrants gathered outside City Hall Tuesday, uh, hoping to appear at a hearing on the black experience in the city shelter system, with some saying they were promised work visas or green cards if they showed. Wow. Only 250 people were allowed inside for the 10 a.m. hearing, while the hundreds of others who flocked downtown were left outside in a park where footage showed them chanting and cheering. The crowd was mostly made up of new arrivals from Guinea in West Africa and were apparently drawn to City Hall by an activist group, a source told The Post. Dozens of migrants said they'd been told by others in the community that they could get work visas or green cards if they showed up. This is what they do to these people. I saw this when I was in Europe covering the migrant crisis there. These people that came from sub-Saharan Africa were promised work uh, uh, visas, uh, uh, permits and all that stuff, residency. And what they found was slums, drug abuse, and they were left out in the cold. I got one video. We interviewed a guy. He didn't want his face shown. He was at a shelter in France and he said, I hate it. It's cold. I've never I've never experienced the cold before. That's pretty wild. You come from a place that's always warm. You've never felt cold before. Seriously, isn't that wild? Never seen snow. You go to France in the winter and you're shivering saying, what is happening? Where are all the things you were promised? Who's doing this? You know, these these countries in Europe, our country, it's being attacked and destroyed. And these people, I'm going to tell you, many of them are victims too. No, I get it. Many of them are criminal aliens who illegally entered this country. But the left is telling them that there's jobs for you. There's free stuff for you. You will get a work permit and they won't. Look at these photos, man. Massive. The City Council's Committee on I- of Immigration, the City Council's Committee of Immigration and Committee on Hospitals held the joint hearing on the experiences of African migrants in shelters to understand how the Adams administration is addressing language access barriers cultural competency challenges, health needs, and other roadblocks. That is the new arrivals face, a press release said. Ahead of the testimony portion, the committee members heard from the activists whose work focuses on providing services to African migrants, the release added. Let me tell you what this, what, what this turns into. Let me tell you what this means. This, uh, this past Christmas in Chicago, we have something called the Christmas market. That's what they call it, the Christmas market. And they set it up in downtown near the Picasso sculpture. If those are, if those that are familiar, it's just this big, big lot in Chicago. 
And uh, they put up these fences and they set up these little pop up buildings where you can go in and you can buy uh, all sorts of stuff, ornaments and probably funnel cake. I don't know. They have the um, cider. I believe it's cider. And everybody gets the Chicago market mug. And, uh, you know, I'd been there a couple times when I was a kid. I went there with my girlfriend and uh, some of her family. We couldn't get in. Not easily at first. And I actually was like, I'm not going in there. It was shoulder to shoulder impossible. And my girlfriend was just like, it's never been like this before. Normally, you just walk in and walk around. I mean, even in Chicago, a city of millions of people, there's it's people come at different times. You you walk around. It's it's a little crowded, but for the most part, you walk around. Now, this time there was a like triple or quadruple layered line. It took maybe 15 or 20 minutes to actually get into the market. And then you were shoulder to shoulder smashing past people. It was crazy. When we got up to uh, the uh, I, I forgot what it's called, but they have the mold. Was it mold wine? That's what it is. Not cider. It's mold wine. And you get a little mug. And uh, we could not get any mugs, which was disappointing for the family because it's a it's a Christmas tradition. You go to the market, you get the mulled wine and the little mug, and you bring the mug home and you put it in your shelf and you collect them. They were all out. None left. Now, good for business, I guess. We couldn't help but notice that most of the people that were there were not, were not American. And what I should say is many of them may be American, but a lot of them were speaking different languages, presumably tourists or immigrants. And me, I'm pro-immigration. You know, I'll say that first and foremost. I'm, I'm opposed to illegal immigration. But this is the reality. When you come out and say we are overpopulated, when you come out and say there's too many people in our cities already, but then advocate for mass illegal immigration, this is what people begin to experience. It's no longer your neighbor, neighbors and community that are showing up to your special traditional events. It's strangers who are showing up and they're having a good time. And they're allowed to. But now it's hard for us to even get anything done. It was hard for us to move around and even buy anything. And we we walked around a bit, pushing our way through shoulder to shoulder traffic. I mean, it, it, it felt really unsafe. And then ultimately, we were just like, well, that's it. Let's get out of here and go get some food somewhere. And it was a good day. It really was. We went and got some amazing steakhouse food. But it was a little bit alarming because this means that uh, the traditions that we've once held are... Uh, they're becoming impossible to attend due to the massive urban crunch. And, you know, there are a lot of people that have called for moratoriums on immigration outright. I think the problem now is when you look at New York City. When you see these videos from people like Ashley St. Clair, you see hundreds, if not thousands of criminal aliens all showing up. At a certain point, the system will buckle. These cities are already massively dense. They already produce, <clears throat> excuse me, too much waste. And let me tell you, <clears throat> let me let me let me tell you the problem. You've got the Malthusians who believe there's too many humans, and we've got to reduce population. Just scary prospect, because uh, kind of obvious what that means. And I think the real I think the real issue is population density, not overpopulation. I think we need more people. I do. I think the issue is that in big cities, we smash everybody into the space. What we need to do is spread everybody out. And I'll tell you why. We got a septic system where we're at, and it very much maintains itself. Not completely, but when done properly, septic systems don't have to be serviced for years. For I mean, some people say five, 10 years, maybe longer, depending on how well you take care of it. Because, uh, you know, you got natural systems of processing waste. In New York, it's a massive reclamation system of massive amounts of waste hyper-concentrated, and it's causing pollution. Simply put, the way I explain it, if I let my chickens go in the yard, they'll poop all over the place. And you know what happens? The next day, the grass is growing greener and everything has improved. Because chicken poop breaks down and it fertilizes the grass. And the grass uses those nutrients and it's the circle of life. Now, what would happen if I can find all of my chickens into a very, very tight space. And they all took one big dump right in the middle. Nothing would grow there, probably for a very long time. The massive amounts of ammonia would pollute the land and make it impossible for nature to reclaim. 
It would rain and it would rain and it would rain and it would take some time to wash that all away. The hyper concentration of waste creates toxicity problems. That's what I see when I look to New York City. I see mass migration. We need people spreading out, not living in New York, demanding handouts. But the same people who are complaining about climate change and overpopulation are the ones facilitating this. So what is the outcome going to be? Uh, the collapse of cities. Maybe that's their plan, I guess. Get as many people as possible into the big cities so that it becomes untenable. And then people are forced to flee, breaking the system and forcing people to spread out. Doesn't really make sense that way, because a simple solution would be if you bring in your newcomers, you can simply just settle them in more rural areas. They don't want to do that. I don't know what the long game is. All I know is it's going to be destructive. I'll leave it there. Next segment's coming up at 6 p.m. on the channel. Thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you all then.